For many, managing mixed workloads in a database can be challenging. Your data engineers and analysts need access to up-to-date information to make business decisions. But accessing this data as and when they want can impact your application and user workload. That's usually bad. Let's take a look at how Cloud Spanner solves this with DataBoost. Spanner is a distributed relational database that ensures transactional workloads have strong consistency at any scale, with very low latencies for reads and writes of your data. One way Spanner is able to achieve this is by separating compute and storage. When you set up a Spanner instance, you specify how much compute resources you need in terms of full nodes or processing units for smaller workloads. Up until now, both operational and analytical workloads that access the data in Spanner would use the compute specified by your instance size. This might have led you to size the Spanner instance to provide enough compute capacity for frequent operational workloads, as well as less frequent analytical workloads. Or you might have limited batch and analytic workloads to periods of time that had low operational traffic, leaving your analysts with stale information. With Cloud Spanner Data Boost, you can now run analytical workloads at any time without impacting your users and without increasing the instance size. Because Spanner separates compute and storage, queries that enable Data Boost will use compute resources entirely separate from what the Spanner instance is configured with. No competing for CPU or memory with your transactional workload. Let's take a look at how this works with BigQuery federated queries from Spanner. In this example, I have a database that contains a game's important data persisted in Spanner. This data contains player information and history of items bought and sold on a trading post. My data engineer was tasked with analyzing trends in items that are listed and for how much. This analysis would help the company create or modify events in the game based on the actions of players, tailoring the experience for those currently playing the game. To accomplish this, the engineer set up a BigQuery federated query to Spanner. This allowed the engineer to have the freshest data on demand. However, they noticed bursts of CPU on the Spanner instance that was impacting the overall player experience. To mitigate this, they have two choices. Either increase the size of the Spanner instance or use DataBoost. Increasing the Spanner instance size is either a one-time increase or at specific periods when the data engineer is allowed to run their queries. Using DataBoost is simple. They set up a new federated query connection in BigQuery to use DataBoost. Updating the query to use the new connection solves the issue and players are no longer impacted because the DataBoost queries do not consume CPU from the Spanner instance. The data engineer can now safely run queries at any time. Importantly, they only pay for the compute used by the DataBoost when the queries run. BigQuery federated queries are not the only way to use DataBoost. DataBoost can be used with any Spanner client connector. So you can use DataBoost in your ETL pipelines that leverage Dataflow, Dataproc, or other custom applications. In another example, my data engineer has set up an ETL process to anonymize player information and export hourly batches of item sales to share with third-party partners using Dataproc and GCS. With DataBoost, this ETL process no longer consumes the Spanner instance's CPU, leaving that capacity for normal operational workloads. DataBoost works for any query that can take advantage of the Partition Query API to read large amounts of data for analytical workloads. More information on which queries can benefit from DataBoost can be found in the documentation linked in the video description. Cloud Spanner takes security very seriously. You control who has access to use DataBoost using IAM permissions by granting the users the use DataBoost permission. This new permission only grants DataBoost usage permissions. So all existing access control and data governance rules your database owners have set up are still enforced. Queries that use DataBoost can be tracked using cloud metrics and audit log down to the query and user granularity. In addition to the benefit of auditing DataBoost queries, you can set usage limits on DataBoost by user or query for granular cost controls. 
With Cloud Spanner Data Boost, it is easy to run batch and analytical workloads on your production Spanner database without impacting your other database operations. In addition to workload isolation, when you use Data Boost, those batch and analytic queries may complete faster since they're not competing for compute resources. Finally, you can enable data sharing for everybody and not worry about DBA's pagers going off. More information can be found in the links provided in the video description below. Data Boost is generally available, so please try it for yourself. Go ahead, supercharge your Spanner database with Data Boost.